I recently acquired this blue canoe for free off the local classifieds and uh, then I picked up a couple or three paddles to go with them. The paddles though need to be repaired and uh, they're old. The, the previous owner said that um, he actually found them in the house that he had bought. Uh, they were up in the rafters above the garage and he didn't know how long they'd been sitting there, estimated at least 20 years or so. But um, they're, the, the finish on them is old, yucky, they, they're dried out, cracked, and uh, we're going to restore them and try to make them awesome. Actually make them better than they were to start out with is my goal. So first I, I had to clean them up. Um, and really I'm just figuring this out. The, the paddles themselves have some kind of varnish or something on them. And the first order of business was to try to remove this varnish. I, I decided first to start with citrus strip. I coated or kind of painted on the all, all three paddles a nice layer of this citrus strip with the hopes that this would take it off. I've used citrus strip before for um, some tools and it's worked really well to remove the paint and just letting it sit for a couple hours really just made so the paint just like kind of almost brushed off it just was no problem. So I'm, I'm hoping that this is the case here. After letting it sit for a couple hours I tried scraping it and this was getting me nowhere. I was getting some of the paint but it really wasn't much so I decided to go a little deeper with a, a chisel that was working kinda better. I don't know if it's because of the citrus strip or what. I did that for quite a while kind of got somewhere Decided to try the file, because I still had residue on there. The file worked a bit. There's still more to go. You can see it there on the paddle. It's just not coming off the way I want. So I tried a scraper. This actually was working. I don't think it had anything to do with the citrus strip though. I mean it's coming off. I'm cleaning off the varnish. It's a bit tedious, inconsistent. After doing it for quite a bit though and getting most of it off, there's still little patches and I gave in to just sanding it off. And that actually made the difference. I was able to clear off everything I needed with the sand. I then sanded it off down to a 320 grit. This actually cleaned it up quite a bit and it was time to put on a, a layer of wipe-on polyurethane. I quite like this. I like the application of being able to just put it on a, uh, a cloth and, and wipe it on. So I coated all of the paddles with this nice coat. Then to finish it off you let it sit for a couple hours. You can see the night is coming on and then sanding it down with just again with the 320 grit just lightly sanding it this really makes it nice and smooth I did three coats of this so 
So after, uh, again, letting them sit, um, this is sanding off of the, that third layer. Now, if I wanted here, I could have stopped, actually. I could have left it as is, and these paddles would have been fine with a nice uh, three layers of polyurethane. But like I said, I, I wanted to paint these and uh, do something a little more unique because <laughs> I'm not very content with just normal. So I masked off a few different areas on the paddle so that I can paint different portions of the paddle. And here I'm, I'm using just the Krylon 2-in-1 paint and primer in one strip. I'm using three different colors, a white, a blue, and then copper. The blue and the copper are the ones that I used on the high lift jack. So there's the copper. I'm doing kind of a similar but slightly different pattern on each paddle for variety. So that meant um, to get the different patterns I marked them off with. Just um, painter's tape. Actually, while I was doing this, a funny thing happened. So we've got a lot of um, bushes and trees in the backyard. And regularly in the night we hear funny sounds. And while I was painting, I actually um, was visited by a raccoon who decided to watch me and hiss at me. Um, I didn't have a camera going at the time, and when I went to go get it, to, he actually had already left. But it was kind of fun. So that was in the night. Now morning, um, after finishing all the paint, I'm just peeling off the painter's tape. And it, it actually looks really quite nice here. And this is maybe where a DIYer would stop so that they could hang these paddles on the wall. But I'm not doing this to hang these paddles on the wall. These are paddles I want to use. And so to protect one, to protect the painting, and to strengthen the paddles, this first paddle, the one with the blue and the gold, uh, not the gold, the copper stripes on it, that paddle actually has a, a, a crack in it that's somewhat loose and I want to uh, place this fiberglass on here actually to make the paddle stronger than the original paddles, make them more durable. Um, one, it will preserve the, the painting and it will uh, make it a lot stronger. So for this restoration I'm using the Bondo fiberglass resin which you mix 10 drops of hardener with each ounce of resin. So with that mixed up, I then just pour a little bit of the resin onto the fiberglass and I'm just spreading it out and trying to soak it in as we apply the resin over top of the fiberglass. I did this one side, then I flipped them over and did the other side of the paddles and then let those dry overnight and actually till the next day when I was able to start working on it but I had to deal with the rain so I'm gonna work on these paddles I've been dealing with this all while I've been working on the canoe and the paddles with so much rain and storms all I have left with these paddles is now to sand them out and then put a final um, finish on them over the, the fiberglass and the epoxy and I've got a storm so we're just gonna get it done Alright, it's raining and we've got thunder and lightning, <laughs> so yeah. I kind of don't want to sand in the garage. Maybe it's going to stop. 
I don't know, we'll see. So, while we had the thunder going on, we actually had some thunder hit really close by, or at least it felt close. The, the lightning flashed and the thunder hit simultaneously and I could feel the hair on my arms stick up and I could feel the vibration. So it was kind of scary, so we stopped for a little while, or I stopped for a little while. So, back to Sandy. So after sanding it, I uh, cleaned it up just to get all of the sand residue off with uh, just soap and water and then rinsed it, letting it dry after that before I put on the polyurethane. And this is all while it's raining. <laughs> so just, I, I just kept going in the rain. Again, this is the same wipe on polyurethane I put on before painting. And this is just putting another protective layer over everything and just kind of finishing it off nice. Again, I did uh, three layers on this. And on that final layer, I just took the 320 grit sandpaper and just, just lightly sanded everything just to knock off the little surface roughness. It was just a light roughness after putting on that polyurethane. And the 320 grit is just perfect to just smooth it out. I'm now just wiping it off with a damp cloth to take off all the residue, and it's good. All right, so uh, the canoe paddles are done. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Uh, this one especially, this is the one that had the crack on it, and before I could flex it a little bit, and now it is rock solid with the fiberglass on there. So. Uh, I think they turned out awesome. They're much different than all the uh, DIY YouTube videos for making like painted paddles that are intended only to be on on the wall. These are rock solid with this fiberglass layer over top and the epoxy on the paddles and the polyurethane. They should should be great and uh, they'll be going along with the canoe that's back there that I look forward to finishing soon. I've replaced the two large holes or cracks that were in the hull uh, with new fiberglass. I've done, uh, bondoed all of the scrapes and cracks and small nicks and stuff that were in the bottom so that we can put a nice smooth coat of paint on it. And um, then I'll be replacing the gunnels, the seats, and the yoke on that canoe. And it, hopefully it should look like a totally different canoe instead of this ugly light blue thing that it is right now. So um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you uh, like this video and like these types of videos. I will be sharing more in the future. I really love uh, restoring old things and bringing them back to new life. Um, I also like to mess around and try new things. I've never done anything like this and uh, I quite enjoy the process and learning new things. So look for opportunities to give those old things new life. Like and subscribe and we will see you on the next video. Ciao!